All right, about to head to the OR, super nervous, but ready to go under and wake up and start the healing journey. So um, here we go. So overall, my surgery took six hours to go from this to this. Here's a recap. And I'm doing A-OK. -okay. First day, uh, let's just do a quick recap. Went into the surgery center, said goodbye to my spouse there at the door. Went to the nurse, she was amazing, very patient and kind. Then Dr. G came in, did all of his write-ups, he was awesome. Um, had an anesthesiologist come in, put the IV in my hand, and then went to the OR. Sat down at the OR, the anesthesiologist put the medicine in, and then the cap over my face. That's all I remember, and then I woke up um, and they got me ready and I went to the hotel and I have to tell you that was so fast the night before surgery I could not sleep I was ready to be knocked out because I was so tired so um, got to the hotel and then my stomach was in pain and it was because um, I had trimadol instead of the full 1000 milligram dose of Tylenol I only had 500 milligram dose of Tylenol so I was in quite a bit of pain until my next cycle of meds where I had a thousand milligram dose of Tylenol. Then the pain was so manageable. It was so much better. I feel fantastic now. Um, <clears throat> I am bruised on my sides and I'll probably show you guys that uh, in, in a, uh, a little bit. But overall, I'm doing fantastic. Just chilling with Matt. My nurse came in a few hours ago. She did great. She helped clear my uh, tube. I have a little bulb that uh, is helped draining me. I went to lymphatic massages today with Claudia. She was beyond amazing. Everyone at his office is there. I don't know how you get so many great personalities in one staff room, but they're all amazing and uh, highly recommend Dr. G. So let me show you what I, how I'm standing now because it's funny and then I'll show you the bruising, but you can't see the scar because I can't see the scar. I'm in a binder. So I'll show you guys right now. Okay, here's day two walking. I can walk, but I can't stand straight. My stomach is, you know, when I touch it, it's tender. It's the bruising, and then I have bruising on my hips, which I'll show you now. So here's the bruising on my hip. I know it looks bad, but I promise you, I can sleep. It's totally fine. And um, yeah, I feel great. I am good. I am day four post-op and I finally am starting to feel like myself. For a while there, after surgery, I was battling pretty bad migraines that were light sensitive and today's the first day that I don't have it. I'm here laying in my little nest that I built. Very comfortable watching Karate Kid 2 and I gotta say it's great. Uh, so little bit of TMI, how I feel so much more like myself. I'm able to sit up straight on the bed without support and I feel no pain when I do that. I'm still hunched over. I'm not standing just quite yet, but um, I am able to stand. Oh, I always have my, my partner with me when I'm walking just because I want to make sure that if something does happen and I fall that I have his support behind me, but I feel pretty sturdy. And then I was able to have my um, bowel movement this morning and thank goodness because I was not able to go for a while there. The necrotics, I feel like, back you up. So make sure you're taking the medication that your doctor prescribes. Um, Dr. G put us on Colace? Colate? I'm not sure. A little red pill. But take your pill because it does eventually help. So, um, but I feel like we're doing great. The only thing I have now is, uh, for some reason, a smell is bothering me. So my husband ate some delicious food from Fit Life Foods. And I got to tell you, I wasn't into the smell this morning. But other than that, I'm doing great. Yay, day four post-op. Here's a quick clip of me walking. You can see I'm still hunched. We're heading over to Hyperbarics and we already did the lymphatic massage for the day. I felt so good after Hyperbarics that we went to Olive Garden, had a delicious snack. So as you can see, I'm already feeling a million times better. The next day I had my post-op and met with Dr. G. Then we met with some family on our last day before we flew out back home to Seattle. Highly recommend first class tickets if you're able. 
And here's my official one week post op. This is me swollen, um, but as you can see, I'm still a little hunched, but really not as bad as I was on day two. So a lot of healing has taken place this week, which leaves us tired and exhausted. But overall, we heal in our sleep, so make sure you're getting plenty of sleep, drinking plenty of water, and heal your body. I am loving my results. I'm loving that I went to Dr. G still. Like everything has gone to plan and I am just trying to keep everything as healthy as possible. And I cannot wait to show you guys my week two results as well as my one month results. So stay tuned. Don't forget to follow, like, and share for more content. Thanks guys.